Hello guys. In this video I'm going to show you, how I made my temperature converter in C-sharp windows form. This simple app could give you an idea, how to apply a temperature converter formula, to your codes later. So without further ado, let's get started. Now, open your Visual Studio. I used a community edition for building this project. The first thing to do, is to make a user interface for this project. Now what is this? I apply this code inside the form load. Because when this application runs, this will do the job first. So this will get, the combo box collection index 0, and set or apply it to combo boxes text.
So now I will explain this code, inside text box 1 key press event. First I created the char variable, then store the key char value. Then I used the if statement. So the first statement here, using the index of method, this will read the text box 1 if it has a dot. Then using the ch equals equals to dot, the keyboard will not accept another dot. So what this does, is to validate only one dot, inside the text box 1. The same as here, this will not accept two negative sign inside the text box 1. Now for the third statement here. This will check, if the text box 1 has a dot. Then because of that the keyboard will not accept the negative. Then the last one here, says I will not accept any keyboard inputs. Except for the numbers, backspace, which is number 8, dot, which is 46, and negative, which is number 45, in ASCII code. Let's make a method called, change label. This change label method, will change the two labels text, based on changing of combo box item, that contains a text to choose converting one unit, to another unit.
Now, let's create a fields. And use this in our properties. The properties that we are creating here, is used for converting one unit to another, using a given formula. Like Fahrenheit to Celsius, Fahrenheit to Kelvin and so on. Now, let's make a method called converter. This method sees the text on combo box, that is being selected. Whether it is a Fahrenheit to Celsius, or Fahrenheit to Kelvin, and so on, then it converts a one unit to another, using our properties, and display the result in text box too.
To prevent this application from crashing, it is needed to add a try catch statement in our converter method. This will catch all the errors inside the text box one that the user might enter some invalid inputs. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more projects.